Yoga flow this morning. I'm super excited to bring to you another yoga session. This morning, we're going to be amping it up a little bit more, focusing on toning and strengthening our lower body and bringing some deep stretches to our hips as well. So, we're going to start in child's pose position, which is a great pose <clears throat> in any of the yoga practices. You know, we can come to this pose at any time throughout the practice if we feel like we need to take break, we'll take a breath. So with our child's toes, toes are together, knees are wide, and just stretching your arms out towards the end of the mat, placing your third eye down on the mat, and just connecting into breath. Taking a nice deep breath in through the nose, into the belly, and as we exhale, just allowing our hips to soften and sink into the mat. And again, deep breath in through the nose, directing the breath down into the belly. And as we exhale, just allowing the hips to start to relax and let go of any tension. And again, one last breath here. And as we exhale, walking our fingertips towards the end of the yoga mat, stretching out all of the tension underneath our arms and just bringing the awareness back into the body. <clears throat> On our next inhalation, we're gonna spread our body forward and our hands are gonna to come directly underneath the shoulders into the tabletop position. Pointing through the toes, making sure we've got a nice flat back. Pressing through all five points of the fingertips, rolling the shoulder blades away from us. Chin is tucked in, eyes are straight down at the mat. We're gonna come into our cat cow. So as we inhale, we're gonna slowly roll the tailbone up, opening up through the heart and the chest, eyes very towards the ceiling. As we exhale, tucking the tailbone under, pressing the spine towards the sky, bringing the belly button up and through the back. And as we inhale again, rolling the spine down, opening up through the heart and the chest. <laughs> And as we exhale, rolling the tower down, pressing the spine up towards the sky. Perfect. Flowing as the body feels it needs to move. Inhale to open. Exhale to roll the spine up. Nice work, guys. We're going to come through three, two. Beautiful. Two more of these movements. Exhale, roll the spine up. Last one, inhale, really opening up through the heart. As we exhale, coming back into our tabletop position. From here, we're gonna bring the hands forward towards the front of the mat, pressing through all five fingers, tucking the toes under, taking a deep breath in, and on our next exhale, we're gonna come into our first downward facing dog, bringing the belly towards the tops of the thighs. Pressing the chest in between the elbows, rolling the elbows out, and we're just going to walk the dog. Beautiful. Looking great, guys. If you're feeling a little bit tight in your hamstrings this morning, that's fine. Remember, we can bend the knees a little bit more and press the hips up towards the sky. There's variations for everything this morning in your flow. This is your practice, listening to your body. So just walking out the dog. Taking a deep breath in here, into the belly, and as we exhale, just see if we can open up those shoulder blades a little bit more. Drawing the shoulders down away from the ears. Looking good, guys. One more breath here. Eyes down at the big toes. Beautiful. As we exhale, we're going to drop down into our child's pose again. Allowing the hips to rest into the heels. We're going to go through a regressed sun salutation just to start to warm up the shoulders and the arms and focusing on our technique this morning. 
So as we inhale, we're gonna come forward into a low plank. So the hands are underneath the shoulders. We're gonna walk the knees out, drawing the shoulder blades down and back. We wanna press the shoulders up to create a nice flat, create a nice flat spine. Hucking the tailbone under, 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 engaging through, through the pelvic floor. As we, as we inhale, inhale, we're gonna hug the, the elbows in towards the ribs. We're gonna come all the way down to the ground. Beautiful. Exhale, allowing the breath to fully leave the body. We're gonna squeeze the shoulder blades together. Shoulder blades down and back as we inhale, pressing the hands back to the ground. Exhale, pressing up into our low plank, sinking back into our child's pose. So we're gonna flow through this with a little bit more pace. Inhale, shifting forward. Exhale, forward again, hugging the elbows into the ribs. Shoulders come forward. Inhale to release, squeeze the shoulder blades. Point through the toes, shoulders down and back. Exhale, hands come to the floor, engaging through the spine, pressing up into our low plank, coming back into our child's pose. Beautiful, guys. We're going to flow through this a few more times. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, press forward again. Bringing our elbows into the ribs. Inhale, squeezing the shoulder blades, pointing through the toes. Eyes gaze forward. Exhale, tuck the chin and engage through the core. Squeeze the glutes, press up into our leg plank. Continuing to move forward into our child's pose. We're going to go through one more flow. Inhale, pressing forward. Exhale, allow the elbows to squeeze into the ribs. Beautiful work, guys. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, shoulders down the back. Exhale, engaging through the core and the glutes, pressing up with our strength and coming back into our child's pose. Nice work and connecting ourselves back into our breath. Inhale, guiding the breath into the belly. Exhale, starting to feel the heat rise in the body. On the next inhale, we're gonna slip forward into our all fours. Exhale, tuck the toes under. Coming down into our downward facing dog. Beautiful. Three breaths here. Deep breath into the nose, into the belly. Exhale. Pressing firmly through all five points of the fingers. And another breath in here. As we exhale, let's see if we can slightly straighten knees a little bit more. Pressing the chest towards the thighs. Starting to wake up those hamstrings. Good. One last breath here. On our next inhale, we're going to press the weight into our right foot and we're going to raise our left leg up as high as we can towards the sky. Beautiful. On our exhale, we're going to bring the knee forward into the left elbow and hold. Three, two, one, and follow it through. The left foot comes onto the outside of the left hand and we're going to drop the right knee down towards the ground. Nice work, guys. On our next inhale, we're going to raise the hands up into our crescent lunge. As we exhale, we're going to open up into our heart opener, which we did on Tuesday. That's right. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, hands come up to the sky. Exhale, we're going to lower the hands back down towards the ground. Planting the right hand now on the inside of the left foot. We can come up to our fist if we need that extra length. And our left hand is going to open up towards the left hand side. We're opening up through the chest, ensuring that we're drawing the left knee in towards the right elbow. And eyes can gaze up towards the left pinky if we need to. Beautiful, one more breath here. As we exhale, allowing the hands to come back down to the mat. Taking a breath here, opening up through the chest. As we exhale, we're going to tuck the right foot under, straightening out the right leg. I'm going to bring the left foot back into our high plank. So we can either stay in our high plank, pressing out through the shoulders, or we can regress into our low plank. Taking a deep breath in here. As we exhale, pressing forward into our toes or our knees, coming into our chaturanga, squeezing the elbows together. We're going all the way down to the ground. Beautiful. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades down and back, hands up the ground. Exhale, firmly pressing the hands back, pressing up into our low plank or high plank. 
and slowly finding our way back into our downward facing dog. Beautiful work, guys. Taking a breath here, correcting our downward dog if you need to, ensuring you're pressing through all five points of the hands. Remember, at any time, we can come back down into our child's pose. On our next breath here, we're going to press firmly into our left foot. Inhale, raising the right leg high towards the sky. Exhale, drawing our right leg towards the outside of the right angle. Three, two, one. Bring our right foot to the outside of the right hand. Beautiful, and lowering our left knee. On our guys. And the next inhale, we're gonna come up into our present lunge. Inhale, shoulders down and back. Reach high towards the sky. Squeezing both of the thighs together to create that strength. Exhale, coming into our heart opener. Squeeze the shoulders, being proud through the chest. Woo, beautiful work, guys. Inhale, reach towards the sky. Exhale, hands come down to the ground. We're going to firmly plant the left hand now on the ground. On the next inhale, opening up through the chest. We're going to draw the right knee in towards the left elbow. Eyes gaze into the middle finger of the right arm. Deep breath in here into the belly. On the next exhale, slowly circling the hands back down. We're going to tuck the left toe under again. Inhale, exhale, straightening up. The left knee comes off the ground. And we're going to find our way back into a high or low plank. Inhale here, breathing into the belly, feeling the heat of the body, pressing forward, dropping to the knees if we need to. Exhale, hugging the elbows in towards the chest, coming all the way down to the ground. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades, roll the shoulder blades back, pointing through the toes. Exhale, release, and finding our way back into our downward facing dog, pressing up, rolling our hips back, slowly pressing into our downward dog. Beautiful work, guys. Thank you. Breathing deeply here, ensuring that with our downward dog, we're going to bend the knees slightly, press the hips high towards the sky, and bring the chest in towards the thighs. Nice work. On our next inhalation, we're going to gaze the eyes to the front of the mat. And as we exhale, we're going to step forward onto the front of the mat. Coming into our forward fold. One of my favorite poses. We're going to monkey grip the arms now. So opposite hand comes to opposite elbow. Taking a few deep breaths here. As we inhale, breathing into the belly. Exhale, just really allowing our body to relax. Allowing our head to sway softly. Moving our hips side to side if you need to. One last breath in here as we exhale, just allowing the hands to come down towards the feet. On our next inhale, we're going to bring the hands to the shins or the knees, coming into our halfway lift. Shoulder blades come down and back. Eyes gaze half a meter in front of us. On the next exhale, sinking down into our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift again, ensuring we're aiming for that flat back. Shoulder blades down and back. Exhale, forward fold. On our next inhale, bending the knees, bringing ourselves up into our mountain pose. You can't see my head, but my hands are high in the sky. As we exhale, we're going to bend the knees, sweeping the hands back down into our forward fold. From here, we're going to bend the knees softly. The hands are going to come down towards the ground. I'm going to step the right foot back. I'm going to come into our lunge. So inhale here, bringing the chest off the thigh. Exhale, I'm sure we're squaring out the hips. If we need to, we can drop the right knee down towards the ground to come into our regress lunge. Otherwise, we're going to use the strength of the thigh to come up into our forward lunge here. So inhale, ensuring our hips are square towards the front of the wall in front of you. Hands are high. Regression is hands are going to come to the heart center. Remember as well, a regression as we can drop the right knee. Inhale deeply here, building strength in the front thigh. Imagine we're drawing both of the thighs together in a similar action. 
On our next exhale, we're going to twist the back foot to a 90 degree angle, coming into our warrior two pose. So with our warrior two, our hands are nice and straight, fingertips are reaching from either end, creating tension through the front thigh, weight is in the front heel, and on the outside of the back foot. Inhale deeply here, inhale deeply here. Yes. Exhale, when I next exhale, we're going to flip the front hand and face and face into the back. And we're going to come into our reverse warrior, reverse lunge. Our hand is going to gently sit on the knee and our left hand is up high towards the sky. Breathe in. As we exhale, windmilling the arms back down, twisting at the back right foot. We're going to step our left foot back into a high plank. Remember our regression here is our low plank. Inhale, pressing our body weight forward. Exhale, hugging the elbows into the ribs. Beautiful, inhale, cobra, squeeze the shoulder blades, point through the toes. Exhale, pressing up, finding our downward facing dog. Beautiful work guys, you're doing great. You're gonna come through the other side now. So inhale, eyes are gazing up towards the hands. Bend the knees, exhale, stepping towards the front of the mat. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, allow the body to soften. Finding stillness. Allowing the breath to slow down. And the next inhale, we're gonna come into a halfway lift. Hands on shins on knees, shoulders down and back. Exhale, allowing our body to release. Inhale again, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Starting to feel the hamstrings open up at the back of the legs. Our next inhale, bend at the knees, open up through the chest, come into mountain pose. Slight back bend if we feel. Exhale, sweeping the hands back down into our forward fold. Inhale here into the belly. Exhale, we're going to step our left foot back this time. Coming into our low lunge. Inhale. Doing our best to keep our chest off our thigh this time. Just noticing where we're collapsing in our body. Keeping nice and strong. Drop the back knee if we need to. On the next breath, using support if we need to. Otherwise, coming up into our forward lunge. Ensuring we're reaching high towards the sky, shoulders are down and back, regression is hands on the heart. I'm just going to turn myself around. Beautiful work, guys. Deep breath in here. On our next exhale, we're going to twist the back foot into our warrior two pose. Ensuring that we're reaching from the fingertip to fingertip. We're creating strength through that front thigh, connecting to our breath. Noticing where our mind may be wandering at the moment and bringing our attention back to our mat. On our next breath in here, flipping the front palm to palm facing the ceiling. Inhale, we're going to reach back into our reverse warrior, ensuring we're reaching up and back versus allowing our body to fall. Nice work, guys. One last breath in here. As we exhale, sweeping our hands back down, Flipping on our back foot, and once we're ready, we're going to step our right foot back into our high or low plank. Inhale, engaging through the core. Exhale, squeeze the elbows, and all the way down towards the ground. Inhale, point through the toes, shoulder blades down and back, squeeze. Exhale, firmly pressing up and back into our downward facing dog. Nice work, right, guys. Taking a deep breath here. Finding stillness, pressing through all five points of the fingers. One last breath. And as we exhale, we're going to slowly come down into our child's pose. Taking three deep breaths. Just noticing how our heart rate is beating. Noticing how our breath is feeling. 
Noticing if there's any areas in the body that are holding tension and just allowing our breath to be guided into any tightness. And as we exhale, giving our body permission to just release. <sighs> Oh. Thank you guys. All right, we're going to take a deep breath in. I'm going to flip our legs, flip our legs around. I'm going to come into a seated position. I'm going to come into a seated position, bringing, bringing the soles of the feet together, coming into our clam. Taking a deep breath in, opening up through the chest, lengthening the spine. We're going to slightly... Um, Shuffle the feet a little bit further forward to, to where you normally would place them, just to get a little bit of a deeper stretch. Now with the clam, we want to imagine that we've got two, uh, two pillows or two sand balls underneath the knees. So we're slightly going to be pressing down softly on the two pillows that we're imagining under the knees, just to start to really deepen and open up through the inner thighs here. So deep breath in, open up through the chest. As we exhale, we're going to hinge the hips forward. So we're hinging with the hips, we're allowing the heart to lead us versus slopping forward. We're allowing the heart to lead us, opening up through the chest, pushing the mat away with our hips and just finding, finding a bit of resistance to where we feel like we can't go any further and breathing into this deep breath into the belly. And as we exhale, see if we can push those knees down ever so slightly Engaging through the inner thighs. And as we exhale, seeing if we can slowly allow our body to shift a little bit further forward. And just listening to your body. Noticing if there's any pinching, we want to slowly come back up. Or if we can maybe bring our hands in front of us and start to walk our fingers forward using the breath to guide us. So every exhale, just really allowing and giving our body permission to start to release, breathing into any tension in the inner thighs, noticing maybe our left side is a little bit tighter than our right, noticing where else we may be feeling tightness. It could be up the middle of the spine. It may be in the shoulders when we're walking our fingers forward. One last breath here. And as we exhale, we want to slowly walk ourselves back up. Into a nice straight spinal position. Beautiful. From here, we're going to leave our left foot in. And as we exhale, we're going to straighten the right leg out. We're going to start to open up through the hamstrings and the side of the body. So this is a great stretch as well. Um, it's from, uh, I'm a Pilates instructor and I like to incorporate different movements into both practices. So we're going to place our right hand on our left knee and our left hand we're going to bring up and over. So inhale, reach high towards the sky. As we exhale, we're going to slowly sink our body over towards the right toe. And on every inhale, we want to slightly twist the chest open and as we exhale our intention is to reach with the left fingers towards the right toe as we inhale allowing the chest to open whatever that looks like for you as we exhale reaching through the fingers beautiful work guys two more breaths here inhale to open exhale to reach last breath inhale to open the chest exhale to reach and let's just hold here for a few breaths and bringing our awareness to our right leg. I want us now to bring tension into the right thigh. So tense the right thigh. We're going to flex the right foot up towards the sky and start to feel the hamstring stretch as we bring the toes towards the hips. And again, on every exhale, we just want to slowly allow our body and allow the gravity to pull our body down towards the feet. As we inhale, open the chest one last time. Exhale, we're not done with this leg just yet. Let's bring both of our hands and twisting our body towards our shin and our thigh. And just noticing if this is quite tight for you, that's perfect. Wherever you're at in your practice is great. And this is, this is um, the benefit 
of being consistent with giving our body what it needs, which is flexibility, strength, toning. I'm quite sweaty right now. We're building those endorphins, sweating out toxins. So as we inhale here, breathe into the chest. As we exhale again, just allowing ourselves to reach down towards the right shin. And we may be feeling tightness through the left side here of the spine. I want us to direct our breath into the left side. side. Any tightness, any tightness direct, the into direct the, right the breath hamstring. into the right hamstring. And just, and just imagining, imagining all of the fascia, all of the little cobwebs around the muscles that may be slightly tight, imagining it starting to release on every exhale. One last breath here. On our next exhale, we're gonna slowly walk our hands back up our right leg, slowly coming back up into a seated position. Inhale, we're gonna raise the hands up towards the sky to give the spine a nice stretch. And exhale, lower the hands to fall down. Beautiful work, guys, let's do the other side. So we're gonna bring the right foot in this time, left leg is extended. I'm already feeling this side is quite tighter for me. So just being mindful in your body, which side may be tighter, and that's okay. So as we inhale, we're going to bring our left hand now to our right knee, turning our body towards our right side. As we exhale, bring our right hand up and just slowly stretch over. Beautiful. Inhale, open through the chest, just being nice and gentle with ourselves. Exhale, setting the intention to reach the right hand towards the left foot. Inhale to open through the chest, exhale to reach. Beautiful work guys. Two more breaths here. Inhale to open, exhale to reach. Just noticing which areas of the body may be feeling tight, uncomfortable. Noticing if you want to get out of this stretch because it may be a little bit painful. And how can we soften? How can we Stay with the breath. Beautiful, one last breath. As we exhale, we're gonna twist our body towards the left hand side now. Bring our hands to the shin, or if we're quite flexible, bringing the hands around the feet, or maybe we're just at the knee. Just really giving yourself permission to be where you're at in your practice this morning. As we take another deep breath into the belly and exhale, bring our awareness now to gravity and allowing the force of gravity to slowly bring our body down towards the thigh. You'll notice the, the muscles and the tension in the body are naturally starting to release. And how can we just bring our awareness to the subtle little movements that our body naturally does with gravity? Beautiful work, guys. Let's take one more breath here. And as we exhale, slowly allowing our body, walking our hands back up the thigh. You're doing great. Again, deep breath in, open up through the chest, stretching out the spine. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Beautiful. All right, let's come down onto the back of the spine now. So coming up to the front of the mat, hugging the knees, making sure there's nothing behind us and slowly rolling the spine down onto the mat. We're going to do one last exercise now to really focus on strip, uh, working the thighs. We're going to plant the heels underneath the knees. And with the hands, we're going to interlace them behind the hips once our hips are up in the air. So inhale here, pressing firmly through the heels. Exhale, we're going to push our hips up high to the sky. Now the difference in this is we're not squeezing our glutes. So I want us to relax our glutes and we're going to Imagine that we're pushing the mat away from us and we're going to be setting the intention to use the thighs. So use the muscles, the big quads of the thighs to raise our hips up high. With our hands, they're going to come behind our body now, interlacing the fingers underneath the hips. And we want to walk our shoulders together. This is a great heart opener. It's really good at opening up the lungs to allow oxygen in. Being mindful that we don't move our neck. So eyes are gazing high towards the sky, pressing firmly through the heels and squeezing the 
thighs as much as we can, starting to feel a little bit of heat now in the thighs, ensuring we're engaging through our core and if we're feeling any tension in our lower spine, just noticing if we're arching our spine or if we're putting pressure in our spine, lowering down and resetting and allowing all of the resistance to be in the feet as we press the mat away from us. And we could even potentially imagine we're squeezing our medicine ball between the knees to activate into the inner thighs. One last breath here. As we exhale, exhale we're gonna walk the head first, hands away first, coming back onto the little shoulders, left shoulders, and slowly rolling the spine back down. Beautiful work, guys. All right, so we're gonna come into our dead bug. So we did this exercise on Tuesday. It's another great uh, movement to open up through the hips. So bringing the knees into the chest. We're going to bring both of the fingers, the index finger and the middle finger, onto the inside of the big toe. Hands come to the middle of the knees. And we're going to open up through the hips. So with this movement, we want to ensure that our spine is staying neutral on the ground, so a nice flat back. And we want to pull the knees slightly towards the shoulders as we push the feet away towards the ceiling. So as we inhale, we're going to pull the feet down and the knees down into the shoulders. As we exhale, we're going to create resistance and push the feet up towards the ceiling. And just noticing the inside of the hips start to open. Inhale to pull exhale to push creating the resistance beautiful allowing the shoulders to soften as well relaxing through the neck two more breaths here inhale slightly pull the knees closer towards the shoulders as we exhale pushing the feet away and our next inhale we're going to slowly bring the heels down giving our knees assistance with our hands to come back into the center of the body and just hugging the knees, rolling around on the back. Great work, guys. All right, our final pose for this evening, for this morning, <laughs> afternoon in New Zealand, is we're going to uh, place the feet back down on the ground. And we're going to come into a laying position. As we inhale, we're going to bring our right knee in towards the chest. As we exhale, we're going to place the left hand on the outside of the right knee and slowly allowing the leg to fall towards the left side of the body into our spinal twist. Just noticing if you may be quite tight still on the outside of the hip and just allowing your body to fall where it naturally wants to, to stop and opening up through the right hand side of the body through the arm. Closing down the eyes now, just knowing that wherever you are is perfect for your practice and breathing in deeply to any tightness that we may be feeling in the outside of the hips. This is a great spinal twist. It's really good at starting to get into all of the organs. So if we want to bring our attention and our breath into our diaphragm, we breathe in and breathe into the lungs, breathe into the kidneys. Breathe into the digestive system and exhale, just envisioning everything starting to relax and any toxicity in our bodies exiting through our breath. One last breath here, inhale and exhale, allowing the body to relax, opening up through the chest. All right, next inhale, bringing the knees back in towards the center of the chest. We're gonna come up into a laying position, swapping sides, inhale, left knee in. Exhale, right hand comes into the outside of the left knee, slowly coming over into our spinal twist on the right hand side of the body. Left hand is extended out, eyes gaze to the left hand. Great work guys, closing down the eyes. And again, breathing into any tightness in the outside of our hip. And as we exhale, envision the fascia and the cobwebs around the muscles start to relax and let go. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Two more deep breaths here. Bring the awareness into our breath. Finding a nice long deep inhalation into the belly. And just let it all go. Ah. Beautiful. Bringing our knees back into the center of the body now. Rolling around on the spine for one last time. And just finding our relaxation pose for our Shavasana. So remember, we can just touch the knees together, feet are wide. Or else we can come down to our corpse pose, pose and just allow just our eyes, allowing our eyes to get any soften and close. Bringing our awareness now into how our body is feeling. This is my favorite parts of my yoga flow. Allowing and giving your body permission to release and let go. Taking a deep breath in now through the nose, into the belly for four, three, two, one. Holding at the top for one, two, and release for four. Let it all go, three, two, one. And again, as we inhale, let's imagine we're filling up from the very bottom of the stomach first. We're filling up the balloon from the bottom to the top. Inhale into the lungs, the bottom to the top. And as we exhale, we're deflating it from the top to the bottom. So starting from the top of the lungs down to the bottom, the top of the stomach down to the bottom. Inhale. Expanding the stomach, the balloon, and the belly first, then coming into the lungs and the chest, to the throat, and then exhale, deflating from the top to the bottom, letting all the air out the chest and deflating the balloon and the stomach. And again, just bring our awareness to this breath as we inhale, inflating the balloon and the stomach, coming up into the lungs and the chest. And as we exhale, working our way back down chest, the lungs, letting out all of the oxygen in the balloon until it's fully deflated. And I invite you now to continue with this breath and this visualization. Noticing as you continue with this breath, the different sensations that you may feel on every inhalation through the nose, the breath may be cooler through as we exhale, the breath may be warmer. And seeing on every exhale how much more we can soften our body. How much more is left that we can Allow the mat to hold us, to soften and sink into the earth. And for the next minute, focusing on solely our breath. And if any thoughts come to the surface, just notice them come into a balloon and as we exhale, letting them go. And as we take a nice deep breath in, long exhalation. And again, 
in, deep breath in, and exhale. One last time, bringing our body back into the room, inhale. And exhale. Ah. Starting to bring our attention to where we are laying in our lounge room outside, the different noises that we hear. Starting to ever so slowly wiggle the fingers and just noticing the small minute movements that we do and how that feels in our body. Allowing the hands to start to wiggle, waking up the different senses, wiggling our toes. And once we're ready on our next inhale, nice stretch, opening up through the chest with the stool laying down on the ground. And once we're ready, I invite us now to roll over onto our right hand side of the body and keeping our eyes closed. And just finding our stillness and our breath once we're ready, coming up into a seated position. Remaining with our eyes closed, it's nice to reawaken our body once we're in an upright position. And just bring our hands to our heart center. Taking a deep breath now into our heart, placing both of our hands over our heart. And I just invite us now to think of one thing in this moment that we can bring gratitude to in our life. I'm just breathing into our heart and thinking now of one or maybe multiple things that we're grateful for. It may be something that we've learned about ourselves during the self-isolation. Possibly what this COVID-19 has gifted us. It could be we're grateful that we have access to clean water and just really bringing in that gratitude breathing it in deeply into our heart and thanking ourselves for choosing to show up to this practice to nourish our body, our soul, our well-being, and setting our intention for the rest of the day. Today's going to be a good day. Our mind creates our thoughts, which creates our reality. Thank you everyone for showing up for practice today. I'm so grateful for you all. I am so thankful for technology to be able to do this for you all. And namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Saran. Thanks, Megan. You did amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks guys. See you tomorrow. Bye.